All right, 1 million MT. Yes, it's Space Word Bird. And back with another YouTube video. I'm playing some NBA 2K. I'm playing some My Team. And playing the game No Money Spent. Getting it to a million MT. Feels different this season. Yeah, because I've assembled a pretty nice uh, squad here just a few weeks into the NBA 2K20 My Team season. Uh, how you ask, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. In fact, this would be video number three in our No Money Spent series for the NBA 2K20 season. Yeah, this season, we're going to do our best to document and share everything we are doing to play the game mode my team no money spent and we feel this season the smart play right out of the gate is to grind these solos and there are a ton of them out there best solos to run right now rock through these three dominations last weekend had updated that i was working through historic domination now this weekend i'm through it and a third of the way through all-time dom why the domination solos the player reward cards and the token rewards they're nice uh, in fact the tokens i've collected so far have gotten me uh nine free amethyst player cards from the token reward market last Last weekend, I just cracked into the Amethyst token reward market and picked up Amethyst Michael Red. Now, this past week, I have added DeAndre Jordan, Derek Coleman, Shane Battier, KJ, Tom Gugliotta, Rudy Gay, Brian Winters, and Dennis Rodman. Now, of these cards, I'd say Michael Red is probably my favorite. Uh, quick shot release, 94 open shot three. He can finish strong inside with a 70 driving junk. A good speed and speed of the ball. Decent ball control. 19 gold badges, one Hall of Fame badge, volume shooter. I uh, like the cards got gold range extender. Now, Shane Battier, a solid defender and a ton of defensive badges. Check them out. Clamps, interceptor. Heart Crusher, Lightning Reflexes, Off Ball Pest, Pickpocket and Pick Dodger, Tireless Defender, Trapper, and Defensive Leader. I like DeAndre Jordan a lot too, but I still keep Ruby Swen Nader around. Now, why? It's that Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. Something DeAndre Jordan is missing. Now, DeAndre Jordan does have Gold Rebound Chaser and has Hall of Fame Pogo Stick, which I guess improves the card's ability to uh, attempt multiple blocks in succession, which is cool. Like the other gold defensive badges like Post, Move, Lockdown, Tireless Defender, Defensive Leader, Worm, Intimidator, Moving Truck, Chase Down Artist, and Rim Protector. Now, also running down, you get rewards cards. And yeah, finishing up Historic Dom, I got some Evolution cards too. Well, most of them. Uh, thanks to the T-Wolves Association Uniform Rewards glitch, I'm still waiting on 2K support to add it to my collection to give me my Evolution Cliff Robinson. Uh, we'll keep you updated on that. Uh, I did, though, get uh, Evolution Bob Sura and uh, Morris Peterson and was able to evolve both this past week. Yeah, fastest way to evolve cards. Run them in triple threat offline. Now, you're multitasking. Uh, you're getting your triple threat offline wins, moving up the board, collecting the rewards, and racking up the stats needed to evolve your cards. And now, working on these two cards, I'm up to over 150 wins. I was lucky. I was able to get Diamond Cliffhagen from The Vault. Got the card at around 130 wins. Uh, just from following social media, I have heard people are at two, 300 wins and have yet to get this card. Time running out as I think the card goes away on the 24th. Uh, in the comment section below, uh, let us know if you got the card yet or not and how many wins are you at. Now, also, here's where you can find us on social media. Make sure you give us a follow. And Morris Peterson, uh, just this weekend, finished up the evolution requirements. Bob Sura, I worked on first because I needed a good point guard. And so far, liking the card. Good height at six. Five, uh, running the card at Chun and Dom, uh, it's pretty easy to find mismatches against smaller, weaker perimeter players. Yeah, evolve from a Ruby to an Amethyst gets a 94 driving dunk, 85 draw fall, 88 pass accuracy, 88 pass IQ, 80 steal, 84 speed with ball, 95 hustle, 75 defensive consistency, 95 offensive consistency. It's a nice added badges. And again, liking this card a lot. And Morris Peterson, like I said, I just evolved the card. Uh, evolve from a Ruby to a 91 overall Amethyst gets a ton of shooting upgrades, including a 92 open shot three and an 88 mid. Uh, improved ball handling to an 82 and passing. Uh, improved offensive consistency to a 95. And Evolve, the added badges, gets Hall of Fame slippery off ball. Oh, and Gold Range Extender. Uh, also gets uh, added Gold Bailout, Deadeye, Hot Start, uh, Pump Fake Maestro. Have no idea what that is, but sounds cool. Uh, so not a bad run. Uh, added eight new Amethysts from the Token Reward Market since last weekend and evolved two rubies to some usable Amethysts. Oh, and just added a uh, Collection Reward Amethyst Walter Davis. I uh, did that earlier this morning. Uh, but with those Collection Rewards, uh, still taking my time. Right now, the focus is finishing up Dom and sniping and working the auction house a little. Like I said, I did add Diamond Cliff Hagen. That's thanks to some luck opening the Triple Threat Offline Reward Vault and that Diamond Dale Ellis. Now, Dale Ellis, the reward card for finishing up Historic Dom. I really should make an effort to try to work this card into my lineup. Uh, three Hall of Fame shooting badges, Catch and Shoot, Corner, and Steady Shooter, which I guess reduces the penalties for contested shots and bonuses for open shots. That sounds cool. Still learning all these new badges this season. Uh, badges that I like uh, that have helped me run through domination. Uh, love players with quick first step. Bob Sir has got it. So does KJ and Des Mason. And Des and KJ give me a ton of points off the bench. Uh, speaking of Des Mason, Pete uh, spent some time this past week and evolved Des to a diamond. Something I might look at doing here soon. Yeah, best way to evolve cards is run them in triple threat offline like we mentioned before. And if you're really struggling and you want to evolve your cards quickly, uh, run some Dom games on one star. Yeah, it's rookie difficulty and can easily score 80 to 90 a, a game with a card. Yeah, hit those heavily contested threes. So, for example, if you're trying to evolve your Ruby Darius Miles to an Amethyst and you have no idea how to knock down 60 threes with a card, again, run it one star. Regular Dom. Get it done pretty quick. Now, if you're struggling with historic and 
all-time domination. You hear this a lot. The CPU is on God mode. There are some defensive adjustments you can make to help. Uh, the ones I use, I got from a Sam Fan vid, and they help. The biggest thing I've noticed is my bigs are in better position to defend the pick and roll. Oh, and they get more rebounds, too. Uh, those settings run through them here quick for you. On and off ball pressure to tight. Uh, forcing direction to baseline. On ball screen, switching to switch all. Uh, on ball screen center, go over all. Edge center, doing a catch hedge all. Uh, stay attached. Uh, this you change to no all. Uh, post to do three quarters bottom. Uh, switch rules off ball. Do switch all. We rotate to no. And screen help and drive help rules uh, stay both on automatic all. Uh, we'll include a link to Sam Pham's vid in the video description below. Uh, he'll go into greater detail on the why behind these settings, but they work. Uh, now, snipes incoming soon. Uh, I am sniping and flipping cards. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, looking for cards needed to finish sets. That'll give you uh, tokens or player reward cards. Flipping mostly silver team currents and heat checks. But right now, really almost everything has value thanks to collection rewards. Right now, the focus is getting all time down knocked out and running triple threat offline. Yeah, collect those rewards, both tokens and player reward cards. I've been pretty critical of 2K in past seasons uh, about them giving out awful player reward cards. Yeah, the cards they'd hand out would have absolutely no viable option to ever make it in a lineup of yours. But starting out this season, a lot of these player reward cards are really nice. They're great for you to start out my team with here this season. So let's get back to grinding. Uh, right now, likes would be appreciated. Tells us to keep posting more weekend YouTube vids uh, and subscribe so you're checking out our next vid. For Party Pete, this is Space. We're out.